Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 7th, 2022. Well, I sure appreciate you being here this morning. Uh, my goodness, we had um, one of those days yesterday, I suggested the possibility of a pop and drop, and that ended up being exactly what we what we um, saw by the end of the day. And now this morning we've reversed to the downside with futures looking to test the support of this wide ranging chop. Could it be just the opposite? Well, who knows? How about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's look at these charts and see if we can figure out what happens next on the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look and see if we can get some information about how we may want to approach the market for today by looking at the technicals and the price action of the charts. First off, um, as you can see yesterday, we popped up here into the Dow and doggone it, um, popped right up into that resistance level and then um, in came the bears and they came in pretty hard pushing us back down into this price action chop range. Now, unfortunately, this price action chop range, if you look at the uh, Dow itself, it's over 700 points between the high and the low. So that's making this quite challenging. And if you're finding this to be frustrating, um, a price action, you're not alone. So now we have to question with the gap down that we're looking at this morning, will this price support down in here hold? So will the bulls have the energy to, to defend this morning or will the bears um, push on through this and and regain control of the market? I, I really don't know. Um, the way the market has been acting, we haven't had good volume on the upside or the downside. Look at in here. It's been horrible volume um, here in the market. It's just as if we're waiting for that next shoot of drop and we may have to wait until Friday to find that. If we take a look at the technicals here in the chart, notice our 50 day moving average as we continue to gyrate around um, drops um, and just slowly is moving down to place a lid on top of the 50 day moving average. And you'll notice below that we've got a 500 day moving average down here that could provide us support. So um, this range of chop could even widen in here if volatility were to pick up um, in the market. So watch that carefully and closely. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY, very much the same situation. We rallied up here, tested the resistance here in the chart, um, reversed, pushed back down. This morning we're looking at a test of the lows potentially of this choppy range in here. And we'll have to watch that closely because if the bears were to take over here, I do see that possibility we could have a pretty strong selling if we were to push down below the support. Uh, what I mean is we could push maybe all the way down into here to find a little bit of support. And if that doesn't hold, then well, you know what comes next. If we take a look at our technicals here, again, we're kind of range bound between our 50 and our 500 day, but notice our 50 is quite a bit further away. It continues to drop down, but um, if we could find an inspiration on the bulls, that, that could give us a pretty substantial move to the upside if we could run up there and test that. If those bears find that inspiration, we'll wanna watch this 500 day. That, that kind of comes in between this little support area here in the chart, because if we fail here, well then we might find a little bit of support there. So watch that close. And then let's take a look at our QQQ, that doggone QQQ continues to struggle here quite a bit. Although we had popped up and broke that range here, um, temporarily, um, we just really couldn't handle the price resistance above and pushed right back down. And as you can see here, we are approaching the support of this little chop range here in the pre-market. And, uh, you know, if you're looking that over, you can see that if we fail here, 
high probability we could come down to here. The only thing maybe stopping us for, um, for doing that would be something like this 20 day moving average that's down here. But unfortunately, um, all of our uh, major moving averages are still above our 34 EMA um, QQQ has been kind of wearing that as a hat and unable to break through there and hold. So um, probably one of the weaker of the indexes right now. You can see we're quite a ways away from that 50 and the 50 is crossed out through the 500 day not a good sign for the market and last but not least our russell um <laughs> iwm has been really <laughs> interesting in the fact that it is holding up better than any other index out there um now we were uh, probably stronger oversold here in iwm but we continue to hold on to an upside trend and notice in here yesterday though we popped and dropped we didn't have near as much selling here in the Russell on that. So I don't know if we can hang our hat on the hopes and dreams that um, the Russell is going to drive this market back to the upside and be the lifting agent here. But um, with the push down this morning, we'll want to watch this price support here in the chart. So keep a close eye on that. And our technicals here remain pretty ugly. We came close to testing that 50 day moving average notice that we're still underneath our uh, 500 day moving average with that 50 crossing down so pretty bearish looking chart but uh, remarkably one of the stronger of the indexes um, the last few days let's take a look at um, our vix now our vix boy it has been kind of perplexing um, we we can't seem to get any motivation to do anything um, we're, we're really lacking in momentum here whether it be for the upside move or the downside move there certainly remains a tremendous amount of speculation on that upside as we saw yesterday gapping up and boy buyers rushing in to push us up about 330 points but um, there is a lot of danger in this market in doing that because we're not getting that that momentum follow through to the upside and so those folks that did rush in yesterday were probably sorely disappointed by the end of the day and we ended up holding here just above our 25 handle now we are starting to potentially slip beyond this little upside trend if those bears really engage today that is that opportunity that we could bounce from this level and and maybe um, show that volatility perking up so we'll want to watch that but if if those bulls can find reason to defend that support then we still have that opportunity that we could drop down through that level and it would be nice to see that volatility declining but i think there's just so much um worry concern about um, inflation that it's going to make that difficult um, to push down through there if we take a look at our t2122 our t2122 unfortunately continues to show us even with that selling yesterday we're still up here in the bearish reversal zone we haven't changed that we've hung around up here hung around up here so if those bulls can find inspiration well we still have that upside opportunity we know it's about 300 400 points that we could move to just bounce right back up in here if those bears find um, opportunity to push down and that's where the danger lies right now if, the, if they find inspiration we've opened up a pretty sub substantial opening to the downside here in t2122 now if we take a look at our t2107 t2107 uh, ticked up higher yesterday so good Good, good on the, you know you know for the bulls um, 28 29 percent of the stocks holding above the 200 day again um, lots of resistance above in the price action of that chart and still in a downtrend so not exactly bullish and if we take a look at our t2108 t2108 is also um, showed a little bit of improvement yesterday but not quite enough to uh, to top um, that big bullish move um, um, earlier last week and as you can see um, downtrend still in play some resistance levels still above 46 percent of the stocks above almost 47 percent of stocks above their 50 days so that is nice to see 
but we still have some work here to do. Now, one of the big concerns, um, I'm gonna show T2101, but honestly, I don't think we're getting very good information here with volumes being so light and that lack of momentum in, um, in that chart. But as you can see, we've got some price support here. If we were to pull back into there, we might be able to find a bounce. We'll have to wait and see. If um, what, what we have going on here in the market is just um, massive uncertainty. Um, we continue to see inflation create higher and higher commodity prices. If you take a look at uh, DBC, DBC is a food commodity, um, a tracking ETF. We continue to move higher in those commodity prices. So food continues to move up. We saw in the housing numbers, housing numbers continue to move up. And unfortunately, guys, every single day, I think there's been of the last 20 days, I think there's been 19, I think the number is 19 new record gas high, uh, highs for the nation. So we continue to move up and we're, we're seeing oil and gas prices continue to move higher. National average gas price up here at $4.92. If you round that up, all gas prices will be $4.92 um, nationally. Um, not exactly um, the kind of thing that we need to see. And as we're waiting, waiting for those inflation numbers coming in on Friday, well, we heard that Australia made a, a kind of surprise move. They announced a 50 basis point increase, which was beyond their forecast. They're also having to deal with that, and that's created some additional pressure um, on that inflation side. You know, inflation is nothing more than an insidious tax on the consumer, and that tax continues to get higher and higher virtually every day, impacting that consumer. Being a consumer based economy, that is a bad thing for the market. So you'll want to keep an eye on that. If those bears were to come back in and engage, we could certainly see the reasons why. Now let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. Our economic calendar has but one thing here to really move the market around, and that would be international trade in goods. Um, the consensus number is expecting that to improve just a little bit. Well, we'll see. Um, watch that closely. We've been running record deficits in our inter international trade. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if it does improve. And then we've got a uh, bond auction here, a three-year bond auction. And remember, as you're planning forward, about all we have to look forward to are those mortgage applications and petroleum status. And a 10-year note in those bonds went up yesterday pretty substantially. They are pulling back just ever so slightly um, this morning in um, early Tuesday trading. Um, but we'll watch, want to watch those closely as rates continue uh, for mortgages to go up. Let's take a look at um, the, our earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar, we had about 20 or so companies listed on the calendar with a few, uh, you know, 10, 11 um, type um, of confirmed reports. I went through those um, looking for the notables. Um, th there's not a lot of uh, notables that I would say would be major market moving notables. Uh, take a look at Casey's uh, general store. Um, looks like it's trying to move a little bit lower here this morning. Um, we've got CHS. Um, some retail apparel stores we're trying to gap up here this morning on that aso um eh, just kind of hanging in there probably waiting on that report um we've got dave and busters gapping higher we know if there's one thing that we love in this country and that we'll never ever um see a major sell-off and that's gaming we love our games even when the world's falling apart we love to play video games so there we go popping up here um G-I-I-I -I -I, um, is one that we'll want to watch. That's moving higher here. Another apparel store moving up into price resistance at the mor uh, morning open. Um, we've got Schmuckers. We've got this defensive sector stock looking uh, ugly here this morning to the downside. So a few others on that list. If you want to catch those, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog. Let's take a look at some potential stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, 
if you could do me that quick favor again if this is the first time you've seen those videos these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful and helpful if you can please continue to click those thumbs up buttons leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow i do truly appreciate that and um, i do try to answer all of those um and there's a every once in a while there's a day or two where i get so wrapped up in in what i'm doing that i can't get to answering the videos but i do read them all so um most of the time they are answered and i just want to let you guys know that how important they are to me so thank you so much let's take a look at some stock setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security if um if you've been challenged by this market remember guys one of the best things that you can do if you're continuously losing in the market is stop trading back off until you can figure out what the problem is um, and then approach the market with a new plan or a new focus remember blindly following someone else's trade ideas is a very bad idea you need to know the why for the trade before you jump in and uh, blindly chase trades let's take a look at some stocks here that are looking pretty good i've been watching masco here masco's got a nice little upside trend here as you can see we broke through some resistance in the chart and we're consolidating this move in here now it's been a little bit choppy but so is the market if that can continue this pattern in here resting out here toward the trend be watching for an opportunity to for this to pop through you know, just about any time now we do have to recognize there is resistance above in uh, the chart um, but watching that it's looking pretty good here so keep a close eye on it as you guys know I mentioned Home Depot the other day and I do think Home Depot does have some potential but unfortunately we're seeing a little bit of bearishness coming in here this morning so this may fall out of that list um, you can see we've pushed up here. We were pressing against some resistance and trying to break out. We had this little upside trend trying to hold. So if this caught, you know, we're selling here this morning, but if it caught a reversal and bounced in here, then there still is that opportunity we could bounce um, on through. So keep a close eye on it. Home Depot might be coming around. You know, Masco is be another building supply. So um, it would kind of make sense that we might see something like Home Depot or Lowe's follow through with a little upside as well. As you guys remember, I mentioned uh, FedEx in here. FedEx continues to hold up quite well. And I'm waiting to see where that trend is going to come into play. Obviously, we've broken through here. We've defeated the downtrend. We're holding it as support. And if we look across here, we just don't know where this trend will end up being. Will it be here? Will it be out here? How much consolidation will this need before it can move to the upside? So keep a close eye on that to see if it can follow through and move on up. If you're looking for a place maybe for some short trades, you might want to take a look at some of the financials. Um, uh, financials rejected yesterday at those highs and um, although there are some very bullish financial charts out there I think overall with rates going up um, and um, we're seeing loan uh, amounts going down um, banks are running into a little bit of a liquidity problem here or will be soon because they make money from making loans if they can't make loans they have to buy treasury bonds to provide a yield to their uh, to their depositors and um, well that's not looking so good for them so keep a close eye on here with that failure at price resistance here yesterday if that were to push down through this low that could be a little bit of a problem we might find some short trades coming up here in those financials here soon if they were to lose that support um, other places that you might want to look um, as you know I've been keeping a pretty close high on AMD now you want to be patient and careful here and realizing that AMD has a trend out here now we're holding some support and we bounced up here really quick but this trend is not a trend that's likely sustainable so what we need to see is this rest or pullback in here hold push back into that 
um, upside trend push in back down into that support and look for those next opportunities to the upside here so watch those closely uh, for those potentials if we take a look at some of the other techs um, some of the big techs um, you know these are market favorites um, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of momentum to follow through and support these stocks all that well. Certainly we're, we've rallied nicely and we're trying to make a higher low in here. Perhaps we have a trend setting up here, but if you'll notice in here, we're just really struggling and we're struggling against this major price resistance in the chart. Uh, boy, I would like to say some of these big techs are gonna support and hold, um, hold some support, but at the same time, I think these have that potential. They could move on back down. So be really careful with some of these tech stocks. I think what we're finding is techs are just losing um, the, the, the high ground here as the place to go find support. Um, gross stocks are just not looking that great. While on the other hand, very old, boring, dividend paying stocks are doing quite well. Take a look at AT&T. AT&T holding up nicely in here, pushing back to its trend, pushing back to some price support in the chart. I'd keep a close eye on this for that opportunity that this could move higher. And one of the reasons I think that is the case, guys, is if you take a close look up here, that's the annualized dividend yield right now on AT&T. You can make 9.9% .9 just collecting dividends by holding this stock. Um, pretty attractive in a market that is so volatile. So keep a close eye on that. Um, Verizon was also trying to show a higher low in here. Notice that Verizon perked up here, holding some support, holding on to a trend, and we're nearing that opportunity where we could pop on through. Now Verizon has a lot more of nearby resistance that we're gonna have to worry about, but it is a bullish pattern, so keep a close eye on that. You may wanna look at some of the utilities. Um, I've been really kind of surprised how strong some of the utilities um, have been holding up. And if you look here in this um, XLU ETF, we're trying to hold these higher lows in the chart. So keep an eye on that little upside trend, trying to hold some higher lows. Now, certainly we do have resistance above that we're going to have to deal with in that chart, but watch for that opportunity if that moves out here toward trend to move on higher. Now, I know these are boring and these are not stocks that typically move really fast. Um, and, and I think that's what um, everyone seems to want anymore. Boy, if I can't make a whole bunch of money today, then um, I'm not interested. Well, um, sometimes safety is a place that is important for a lot of folks. And certainly that is looking good. And the last place here, guys, I just have to continue to mention um, natural gas, um, UNG, and this is something I've held for a long term, continue to hold, it's ridiculously profitable, continuing to move up. And if you look at other um, uh, natural gas, um, uh, we're continuing to move higher and higher and higher, and that doesn't seem like that's going to change as the inflation continues to pressure these and our administration continues to just do, it seems like everything in their power to make gas prices worse. Now, if we take a look at um, um, oil prices, um, there are um, there's every reason to believe um, oil at this point could continue to go higher. Now, anytime we've stretched up like this, we, we wanna watch for that possibility of a rest or pullback um, in that chart, but we continue to see energy prices surging to the upside. Um, um, if you look at, you know, stocks out there like um, Exxon Mobil continuing to move up, um, Occidental in a nice little consolidating range trying to set up a potential long, notice that trend right in there, that's all set up for a potential upside. So all over the place, oil and gas are looking very, very strong. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Be careful out there. Um, 
I don't know what happens next and no one else does either. With the uncertainty that we have on inflation, gas prices continue to rise, food prices continuing to rise. Certainly we have a dismal outlook for the summer, um, but that doesn't rule out the possibility that those bulls can come in and defend. So. Uh, just be careful, trade wisely, and we'll see you right back here, bright and early Wednesday morning. Wish you guys all the best.